All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting out here at my long range, and, and let me tell you something. I'm probably more excited right now than I have been in a very long time because one is is that every time I come out here to long range, I'm shooting the leftover pitted, old, nasty, disgusting steel. Yet it's being it's free. <laughs> I'm not complaining about it, but I've never been able to really show you guys anything on say fresh steel. Uh, to the rescue, Primo Targets. Good friend Russell met him out there at Shot Show. Uh, contacted me the other day, said, hey, how can we put some steel on your uh, channel? I said, send me a couple pieces and let me just try them out, man. I'd love to. And uh, here it is. Okay, so uh, Primo Targets. You guys know that I love helping new companies out. Uh, fresh startup company, making targets, uh, and this is one of them. Now, what I did was I asked him, I said, let me have 10-inch uh, circle targets. They have them in all different varieties of brands. You've got the Silhouette, you've got the... Uh, well, anyway, all you got to do is go to primotargets.com, and I'll put the link down below. And again, guys, I can't convey to you how, how important it is that we as a community support each other, especially the startup companies. But let me show you this. I wanted 10-inch uh, pieces of steel. This is the 3 8 inch AR500 steel. He paints them in his uh, lime green. It's got black on this side right here. Uh, also, one of the cool things as well, at my shooting range, I was real concerned about carrying these around with me. As a matter of fact, there's a, there is a safer method of, of touching these things after they've been fired. Uh, I'd like to bag them and tag them so you don't ever come into contact with the surfaces after they've been uh, shot with lead. And I would tell you, a good friend of mine is experiencing some difficulties from lead poisoning from years and years of contacting these things. So we may even do an instructional video later on about proper handling of these specific thing, targets if you're going to be handling them after you shoot. Well, anyway, they're light enough that I can put these in a tote because my shooting range has a bunch of these T-posts. They're just everywhere, so I don't really have to worry about uh, having to carry these things around with me. But this is one of the neatest things also, is he has made these little brackets right here. Check that out, primotargets.com, primotargets.com. But these are also made out of AR500 plate uh, steel, but they're little deal right there that goes right inside the T-post. You put it right on top of that, and then these bolts catch on the back side right here. Now, we'll see how it holds up. I'm going to put a camera. I have cameras up at the 100, the 200, and the 300. The 100, I have a camera in the rear of the uh, target because I want to see how it fares with that. We're going to be shooting an AR-15 or AR-9 pistol today. Uh, don't know how accurate we are going to be. I'm not really concerned about being accurate, but I would like to hit the target. We're out here to have fun. Shoot steel. There's nothing like the sound of steel when it goes off. But again, Primo Targets, man. Russell, thank you so much for sending these out. Let's get on over to the table and uh, get to shooting. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys. Here we are, man. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. One of the things we are doing, though, is I'm actually shooting with this setup right here. This is the AR-15 pistol uh, using the SIG Romeo X5 XDR with that four power uh, magnifier behind it. And one of the things that I wanted to do was just take it out here and play with it before we do the full blown review. I will tell you this, the nice thing is, is with the exposed turrets right here, you can use a uh, spent casing or any whatever to do whatever adjustments you have. You don't have to worry about turning these on, off, whatever. Very nice. So I got a mag here. Let's go ahead. And uh, I've just done an initial zero at uh, 50 yards with this thing. And uh, let's see if we can each actually even hit something. Here we go. Ring that steel, baby. Good stuff. All right, so that's 100 yards. That thing's putting out a flash. All right, let's go ahead and try for 200. It should be dead on. Huh? So what we're doing is I'm having to hold at the top of that thing. So it should be interesting to see once we get out to the 300 yards what we're doing. Now I am resting this thing on the magazine right here. So I'm going to hold about 10 inches above. No joy. Okay. 
And like I said, guys, this is more for fun and more for me to familiarize myself with this magnifier right here. I don't know where I'm hitting out of the 300. There we go. That's fun. <laughs> the 300 yard target is eluding us today. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, this thing's a blast. I need to put a piece of paper out there and check the dope out at 300 yards. This is a great little AR-9, or I keep saying AR-9, AR pistol, uh, 200. You know what? Mm, that is a wonderful. Look at there, 40 rounder. Flashlight still works. That's a primary arms flashlight. guys <laughs> well that's it primotargets.com.com I have had more fun in the last five minutes than I have in a long long time and uh, I tell you what shooting offhand at 100 yards will help you this last three gun that we just did there was a lot of offhand shooting 
A lot of weird, unsupported shooting, shooting off of a rope. Shooting like this will definitely help your game out. But I still think what we need to do is figure out the dope for this guy at 300 yards. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of uh, a double uh, reticle on this thing. And I'm thinking... Well, I don't know what I'm thinking. But anyway, that's it. Uh, Russell, thanks so much to contributing to the channel. And uh, I'm looking forward to using these steel on all the reviews coming up. Absolutely incredible, man. Go to War 32. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Thanks, Russell. Y'all take care.